Welcome to Feature Friday, our weekly series where we show you how to use some of the coolest and most useful features inside of Ecamm Live. Today's feature is going to be virtual camera. This one happens to be a crowd favorite and many of our users absolutely adore this feature. We wanted to present it to you to make sure that you're not missing out on virtual camera and all the power that it brings from Ecamm Live. Basically what virtual camera is, the ability to pass whatever you would normally see here in this program window, things that you would pass on to like a live stream or pre-recorded video, we're able to pass that to any application that is requesting access to a web camera. Think of things like Google Meet, Zoom, Skype, many others, things like that. Wherever you would normally use your web camera, we're going to pass in the virtual camera so then you can use all the cool features like Ecamm Live. And what I mean like that is if I come here and throw on a quick lower third, just to let you know that I'm Doc Rock, your community manager, I would be able to pass this info into Zoom so you could have things like that. I could also bring on something like, you know, a countdown timer. If I wanted to have a countdown timer in one of my presentations, I can place that on the screen, move it around, reset it, add a little fun and interactivity to your otherwise normally boring virtual conference meetings. Anything that you would present in Ecamm Live in a live stream, you could pass it to your virtual conference meeting. So, well, they're not so boring. I'm gonna show you how to make sure your software is properly set up, and then I'll give you a quick example. Let's dive right in. Here we are in Ecamm Live. I must remind you at this time, virtual camera is a pro level feature. So if you don't have it in your software, you might have to upgrade to pro. If you are on the trial period, it will work during the trial as a way of letting you see all the features inside of the program. So let's dive in real quick. If you look at my master program window here in this red bar, you'll see where I have a little camera indicator letting me know that my virtual camera is on. If you don't see that, you're gonna come up here and to output and now you'll notice it's missing. See if I press output again, come down to virtual camera and turn it on. Now, one last thing to point out, if you happen to come to virtual camera and this isn't available, you'll see where it says install virtual camera. In my particular case, I already have it installed, so that's why it says uninstall virtual camera. But once you do that, you're good to go. Now you're free to jump into whatever virtual conferencing program you use and select Ecamm virtual camera as the drop down. Now that we have virtual camera properly turned on, all we need to do is go into your virtual conferencing application and select Ecamm virtual camera as the camera. And now everything you do inside of Ecamm will pass right through. If Ecamm virtual camera doesn't show up in your conferencing app, please jump over to the website at ecamm.com, check in the support area. We might have additional instructions for you. Also, you can check our Facebook community as we have many fantastic users there who are willing to help you out and maybe they have some special tricks for the software that you're using. And of course, you can always send us an email at supportdesk at ecamm.com. Let's dive over into Skype and Zoom so I can show you how to select the Ecamm Live virtual camera. Here we are in Zoom. And as you can see, all I need to do is click down here on my video selector and make sure that Ecamm Live virtual camera is selected. Once I pop on my camera, boom, there is my virtual camera. Everything is set up. I can use things like bring in one of my really cool overlays. I can go back to my previous scene and come over here and put on my swanky countdown timer. If I'm rocking a session, of course, I could bring up my lower third and all of these things are just built right in. I could even put in a countdown screen to get ready for another presentation, any type of slides, bring in guests, basically whatever you do in Ecamm, you would be able to do using virtual camera. Let's jump over to Skype and show you how it works inside of Skype. Okay, so here we are in Skype. All I need to do is open up my settings and inside my settings, I'm going to come over here and press audio and video inside audio and video. I just want to make sure again that Ecamm live virtual camera is turned on. And of course, everything will work as directed. 
If I come in and play my lower third, my lower third plays. If I play my clock, my clock plays. If I jump down and show one of my fancy scenes, they also play. Now, just the nature of Skype and the way Skype works, it will show up backwards in the preview, but it's normal to the people in the recordings and in the call. It's just the way Skype does it. I guess they believe it helps people know which hand to raise when they're raising their right or their left hands. It's a little bit less confusing. As you can see, virtual camera is absolutely amazing and can add that little pizzazz to your virtual conference calls. Let us know down in the comments how you use virtual cameras or if this was brand new to you. We want to make sure that you're getting as much value as possible out of these Feature Friday segments. Of course, if you have a Feature Friday segment that we haven't covered yet and something you want to see, drop that down in the comments below as well. I hope you really enjoyed this. Now do us a favor and watch the video that's coming up on screen next.